okay. We uh, we are here live, and um, John Kite coming at you, owner of Cornerstone Financial Group here in Raleigh. And I have got one of my heroes in town um, doing some work this week, um, Dee Dee Carter. And uh, on our leaderboard, she goes by D <laughs> D Carter. So, but um, you know, one of the things that y'all have seen me do quite a bit uh, recently is talk about our opportunity and. Uh, we've got two different parts of our opportunity. We've got lead-driven sales part where somebody can come in part-time or full-time if they like uh, being a field underwriter, they like sales, they like lead-driven sales. Um, they can come in, have people to talk to, and they, they can go and succeed at whatever level they want to succeed. And, um, and so it's neat. It's neat teaching them. Like here is a final expense lead. So this is, I'm not sure if you can see See, it, but here's a final expense lead, and um, you know, Dee, you you've kind of developed a um, a good, uh, incredible track record in final expense, and so just to recap on on our uh, opportunity, um, we generate leads, um, and these are people that request a field underwriter like John Kite or like Dee, Dee Carter to come see them. Uh, whether that lead, whether whether their interest is mortgage protection or whether it's final expense, we look at them the exact same. Um, it's a family that has a need, and we go and we sit down and talk to them and find out what that need is. We find out what their budget is. We find out their health history, and as as good field underwriters, we always love knowing when we walk out of somebody's home that in whatever state that we're in. There's absolutely no better product that they can have. No better product that costs less. No better product that has any better living benefits. When we put, walk out of somebody's house as, as a good trained field underwriter, we know that we put that family with the very best product. And, uh, and that's a great feeling. You know, we've helped that family prepare for their worst day. Their worst day being when a family member um, gets a, diagnosed with a critical illness. You know, how many, how many of us know somebody that's been diagnosed with cancer? Um, we talked about it yesterday. I think y'all had a couple of appointments yesterday. Um, we've got Jonathan and, uh, Jonathan and John Kite, too, in the room as well. But we had a couple of appointments yesterday where, where we ran across a uh, cancer diagnosis. But, um, but the family's worst day is going through a season of their life where they have to battle cancer or battle a heart issue, any type of a critical illness, because even though the success ratio is getting better, people living through those things, um, financially, it can be devastating. And so it's awesome to be able to offer the new type of life insurance, which is living benefits, and help that family successfully outside of death, okay? Uh, prepare for their family's worst day, and uh, including death, right? But the thing about it is, is even the old type of life insurance protects against death. And um, hopefully you've got success stories out there, um, as much of a success story as it can be, but when somebody passes away with life insurance, it's very different than when somebody passes away with no life insurance. And, uh, and hopefully uh, the stories that you have are, are people that passed away with life insurance. We're all gonna pass away. Um, we just have to prepare for that day. Um, and with the new type of life insurance, with living benefits, we also at the same time prepare for if we do go through a critical illness or a chronic illness. And uh, I know my personal story, um, it was just a few years ago on Father's Day um, when I was in the shower and all of a sudden I was I was, I, I felt something like something's not right. And uh, I let, let my wife know. And uh, my wife, Kim, said, well, we're going to go to church first. No, she didn't say that. She, want, she wanted to go. She wanted to go to the hospital right then. And I said, no, let's, let's go to church and let's see if it, it, it eases. And it didn't. And we actually left the church service and went straight to uh, Wake Med here in Raleigh. And uh, for about 24 hours, they were convinced that I, I was having or had a heart attack. Thankfully, I was not. Uh, thankfully, um, uh, it was, that they, to this day, they have no idea what it was, but the, the cardiologist said, um, you're gonna die one day, it's just there's a good chance it's not gonna be heart related. So we spent a lot of money to figure out that my heart was in good shape. So 
from our opportunity standpoint, the reason I wanted to do this Facebook Live today, um, and we may even do a two-part series, uh, we may even get Dee back on tomorrow morning, but we're lead-driven sales. And we deal with people. people, people are contacting us now on a daily basis who are in a situation where they need their life to change. And I talk about changing your life based on lead-driven sales. Like, if you let us teach you how to contact this person, how to, that's a mortgage protection, this is final expense, but if you let us teach you how to contact these people, set up an appointment, and then, you know, like one of the things I get is, is are we in sales? Well, I mean, I guess technically we are, but Dee Dee, I don't, I don't ever leave a home feeling like I've ever sold an insurance product. I always feel like I leave a home, I've gotten them exactly what they want. And so when I tell people we're not in sales, it tends to confuse them. But the point of this Facebook Live is, is Dee Dee. And, and the point of, of Dee Dee talking today is that I think the last time you were, or one of the last times you were in Raleigh, uh, it was a few years ago, and uh, you actually came to a training that we had, and then we left the training, and you said, John, can I get just a little bit of time with you and Kim, and we went to, back. we lived in a different house, but we went on our back porch back there, and there were a lot of tears that day, and, uh, but you, I'll get to, well, I shouldn't even brought that up, but um, you talked about how you were you had you were very successful in the insurance world, but you had fallen away. You had sort of gotten in a mode of inactivity. You kind of you know you overcome by life events is, is what I is what I like to call it. And you had hit a wall where you said enough's enough. I think you and Trene, your daughter, y'all had actually moved in with a friend. Y'all were both living in a in one bedroom in a small apartment. And you just knew that your life was meant to be a little bit better than that. You made some decisions. Can you take a few minutes today for our people that are listening out there and people that have watched this recording? And can you talk about that time frame, um, how it felt to be in that time frame of your life? Um, your mentor, Mike Hall, was very instrumental in helping you develop a game plan. That's one of the things that we've been talking a lot about in our organization recently is plugging into a mentor, developing a game plan, and then, then taking action. So um, can you talk about that time frame? And the success of that time frame is this was, I think, in May, yeah. a few years ago. Um, so almost the same exact month, right? Here we are at the end of April. About a month. Yeah, and, um, but Dee Dee left there implementing the game plan that she had put in place with, with her upline mentor, Coach Mike Hall, and she went out and for the remainder of the year had earned hundred under $100,000 income. Um, with our company, we, we award people that earn at least 100000 with a beautiful income ring. And, um, and uh, but Dee Dee, I'll never forget her being on stage and getting that ring because you know, thinking that it was just a few months um, prior that she was on our porch and, you know, we were crying and praying and, and all these things and the, the fact that she went out there taking these leaps and she absolutely changed her life. And I know there's people out there watching right now, COVID-19 pandemic, um, I know there's people out there that you're in a situation a lot like maybe Dee Dee was in. So Dee Dee, can you walk people through that time frame? Sure. Um, well, good morning, everyone. Um, Thank you, John, for allowing me to come and speak to everybody today. But, you know, he spoke about my mentor, Mike Hall, and the things that we did before um, that time in my life. But, you know, my daughter was, she was the most precious thing to me. And just to see the look of hope in her eyes again that, you know, she could one day have her friends come back over to, to have sleepovers, just the little things that nine-year-olds wanted to do. And I just knew that um, I had allowed my own personal, or maybe it was just God's way of just saying, okay, you're meant to do something more than just what you're doing. Um, you know, just stop making the, the minimum the maximum and just go out there and help serve the people. So um, I had fallen, you know, really behind in everything and 
I just didn't have any means of myself. So I thank God for my friend that helped us. But just to make a long story short, um, I think I might I think I had like twelve dollars in my pocket, and so I had to borrow some money just to put gas in my car. And these these leads that John ha handed up, I'm sure I don't know if y'all could see them or not, but one is to talk about funeral expenses, and one is to talk about helping to get their mortgage covered in case of um, a death or a disability. But um, because I come from the final expense world, my comfort zone or my means of survival in the beginning was to go and knock on the door and speak to them face to face. Um, because it's harder for people to tell you no and look you in your eye and tell you no when you knock on the door. And now of course it costs more gas money and it may be a little bit more time, but um, on the phone, if you have like a phone voice or whatever the case may be, you just wanna do something to get in touch with them. And I just took my, my stack that I had and if they hadn't told me yet, no yet, I just went and drove to them and I made appointments and um, I did that. Our uh, CEO, Barry Clarkson, always talk about the 90 day madman cycle. So I just did that for 90 days straight and I had helped, um, I did enough to get $81,000 in just those 90 days. Um, and honestly, when it was time to... So $81,000 in your in deposited in your checking account, not 81000 to the insurance carrier. Um, it was issue pay. Issue it was pay. issue pay. So $81,000 in your checking account in 90 days. Okay, keep, keep going. <clears throat> so when John talked about the income ring and everything, we had to turn those numbers in in November, and my my manager, Michael, was like, Dee, aren't you going to turn it in? I was like, what, what income ring? I didn't make $100,000. He was like, I think you did. Um, so as you get more experience in the business, um, at first, whatever the reason that you want to join would be just to have um, extra income or if you want to just make this a way of life, um, those first 90 days, you'll just put your head down and not think about it. That's why we have the leaders around us to tell us things like, hey, you want an income ring and I'm sorry I don't have it on today. Maybe when the nail shops open back up, I can get my nails done and put it on and everything but um yeah so so i went across stage and and every year since then i'm not going to say life doesn't get in the way again because it does actually when it comes again it hits a little harder but it just makes you stronger and every year since then those three years it's been over a hundred thousand so i just feel blessed and thank god for my health and strength and the leaders that i have around me well, you know, you talked about the last three years. It's, it's been neat watching your success story over the last three years. Um, and I'm not being funny when I say this, but she's been to this. She's taken her daughter, that nine-year-old daughter that you heard about that, that, that lived in that one-room apartment. That she was eight then. She was eight, yeah, because she's eleven now. So. She's eleven. Yeah. Well, she, she's <laughs> no, number one. They have a house of their own. Yep. So you bought a house, you furnished it with cash, mm -hmm. and they've been to Disney World so times I can't even count it all. Matter of fact, I think recently you had asked Trina if she wanted to go back down there, and she was like, Mom, I don't know. Yeah, she was like, Mom, I just want to go to SeaWorld and pay in the pool. I said, okay, that's fine with me. <laughs> um, so they was teasing me and said she's tired of it. I don't know if she's tired of it, but she that's all she wanted to do was go to SeaWorld and pay, play in the pool. So... You know, I just felt really blessed because three days ago, that you know, like I said, I had to borrow gas money just to go out and see the client. So that that would have just been um, a distant fantasy, I guess you want to call it. But uh, you know, just blessed that this opportunity gave me the chance to to do that for her. So Dee Dee, there's people watching. Um, the screen's so far away, I can't exactly see who's watching, but. There's people watching, there's people that'll watch the video, and there's people out there thinking, I wonder if I could do something like this. I wonder if I could get my life insurance license. I wonder if I can go and make $80,000 in not, heck, I wonder if I could go make $80,000 in a year, year. Yep. <laughs> not much less 90 days. Can I do what Dee Dee Carter did? Dee Dee, can you address that? Sure, um, I think that you can, 
if you can get up and thank God every day, I mean, regardless if you're religious or not, but if, if you can get up and breathe and you put it to your to your mind and say that you're going to do it, all you have to do is plug in. Um, I've worked overnight at 7-Eleven before. I was I worked on my way all the way from being a cry girl to the human resources manager at one McDonald's for 14 years straight. Um, I've, I've been in the Army Reserves. I've been in active Army. I'm a combat veteran. Um, I'm a, a mother. So, so whatever you are, um, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you can get up and, and you want to do it. I think that it's a desire mm -hmm. that you want to do it. So if they have a desire, which desire is everything, if they don't have a desire, it, your success, my success, nobody's success matters. If they don't have desire, it doesn't matter. Right. Because the foundation of every success story is somebody getting to the point where they said enough. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very powerful when you get to the point in your life where you say enough, because a lot of times that's the point in time you're willing to really take massive action and change things. It's a non-negotiable. Yeah, um, honestly, there's nothing left to say other than that. that it, you, you just have to want to, and if you want to, then reach out to one of us. We'll help you and put you in the right, um, help you get in the right direction um, step by step to, to make it happen. Two of our owners, uh, Rob Jones and Bill Martin, they are doing a noon today noon eastern time they're doing an opportunity overview um i i know i've shared the link i'm not sure if you have on your your facebook but if you if you're interested in plugging in and seeing the bigger opportunity that we have with our company there's no two people better that i would want to listen to i can't wait to plug into them uh, but that's Bill Martin and Rob Jones, and that'll be today at noon. If you can't make today at noon, still private message us because they're actually going to be doing a series of these, what they're calling a virtual opportunity meeting. Um, but today at 12 o'clock, if you can arrange it on your schedule, um, it will just send you a little registration, but it will be absolutely powerful. You'll get to see the same opportunity that I've taken advantage of and D.D. Dee Dee Carter's taking advantage of. So with that, guys, God bless. Thanks for plugging in. Take care.